change jobs every couple of years, build up your CV, gain valuable new skills. This is the advice we're given as software developers, but what if this common advice isn't going to get you what you really want in life? Because after changing jobs 10 times, I realized that that's however many times I change jobs, I'm looking for something in a software development job that I'm never going to find. And in this video, I'm going to break down why that is and what you can do to get out of that cycle so you don't spend the rest of your life looking for something in a place that you might not ever find it. Now, if you are happy paying your mortgage, supporting your family, turning up for your nine to five, and just doing what's necessary to put food on the table, that's absolutely fine. And this is not the video where I'm talking to you. I'm talking to people who are looking for a certain level of meaning in the work that they do. They're looking to create more of an impact and to to have the real feeling that they're sharing all the gifts that they were born into this world with. And I know that sounds kind of airy-fairy, but that's kind of the feeling I had in each software development job. Because after a while, I basically got bored. So you turn up and you, you learn all the new systems. You know, you learn all these different technologies and you begin to stack skills and add them on your CV and it looks great to recruiters and it sounds great in interviews because you can talk about your previous experience and say, hey, this is how they did it in this other company. But like I said, after a year, I got bored. Often I was working on products that I didn't really care about that much. And after a while, I, I just had the feeling of like, this probably isn't the one job that I was looking for. It must be somewhere else. <laughs> and at that point, I would begin to consider job hopping looking for that that something that to satisfy me that I hadn't quite found in that job and actually quite often between jobs I would take time off but then I would have to come back and find another job and this cycle repeated itself for 13 years like I said, 10 different times, 10 different jobs. And even though I didn't hate most of the jobs that I had, by the end of that 13 years, I just felt like I was treading water. I had so many skills that I could add to my CV. I had so much experience that I could talk about. And when I considered, am I just going to keep doing, doing this cycle of <laughs> hopping jobs every two years for the next 30 or 40 years or however many years I'll be working, I kind of realized that <laughs> that's not going to get me to, to what I'm looking for. And I realize that what I'm looking for is more autonomy to be in control of the kind of work that I do, to be in control of what time I work and even where I work. Like today I'm working in this beautiful garden 
on a rare sunny day. And I can choose to do that because right now I'm in control of what I do. I don't have to be glued to a screen between 9 and 5 or 6 p.m. ready to accept a call from a boss at any, at any time. So I don't have all the answers to exactly how you can make this come about in your life. All I'm trying to say is, is that if you're like me and you're in this cycle of hopping between jobs every year or two, then it, it feels great when you sometimes get a pay rise, sometimes get some perks, pension, maybe you've got a fancy canteen that gives you cheap food or even free food. But that, that's kind of just a maybe trick. Trick is a strong word, but yeah, let's, let's say that's just a, a trick to keep you in the game. It's just enough to, to keep you working that nine to five. But actually, if you really reflected and took time to think about it, you'd realize that, that that's not ever going to give you the lifestyle that you want. So just to paint a picture of how life can look after a nine to five, I quit my nine to five four years ago. And I'm fully on board with the whole idea of building an audience online for me specifically that's youtube i've had some success with that i've launched courses i've written ebooks i've done freelancing i've i've earned advertising revenue on youtube i've still got a long way to go until i fully replace that nine to five income but i just want to share this because I now realize that this, this is possible. And you can see people on YouTube talking about it and say, no, they're, they're just bullshitting. They're making up their, their revenue figures and, you know, you've you got to come back to reali reality and realize that the only way that's ever, ever possible to make a living is in a job. That's not true. open your mind to the alternative possibilities of the fact that all of this stuff is <laughs> right under our noses. We're all consuming content on the internet. So why would you pretend that you couldn't benefit from that yourself by instead of just being a consumer, become a creator. However that looks, it doesn't have to be a creator of YouTube videos, it could be a, a creator of software. Why not build your own software products instead of making them for somebody else? And I've done that as well. So, if you want to learn more about this, there's a link to my newsletter down below where I share a bit more of my story on a weekly basis and share what's worked and what hasn't worked so you can avoid making some of my mistakes. But otherwise, have a real think about it and consider how long are you planning to be in a software development career? How many jobs will you have, by, have done by the end of that? And do you really think that that's going to give you what you really want in life? What's going to make you really satisfied? If the answer is yes, that's, that's fantastic. I'm happy for you. If the answer is no, then start thinking about 
what the alternatives are. And I hope this video has given you just a tiny bit of inspiration that an alternative lifestyle is possible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.